Gaming Belt presents 15 times gamers took video games too far. We've all spent an absurd amount of time playing video games. Some of us may look back at those 100 hours playing Skyrim and Persona 5 and wonder about our dedication. However, there are others who take that dedication even further. Sometimes it even goes off the deep end of sanity. Let's take a look at 15 times where gamers took their video games too far. Multiple WoW characters, one player, all achievements, a taxis. You may have heard of Ataxius, Ataxis, Ataxus, Ataxus, Ataxa, and so on. Three of those sound a lot like the same name, but trust us, they're slightly different. These World of Warcraft characters managed to hit the top five rankings in the MMO at some point. Lest you think they're all just the same guild, they're actually controlled by the exact same person, using multiboxing. This single person managed to control all five at once and got all 1,954 achievements with each one. If it weren't obvious already, this is a task that took years of work. 100 level, 100 WoW characters, Watola. So of course, someone like Watola had to come along and do something even crazier in WoW. Watola went and hit level 100 with his characters. Big deal, you say? But he had 100 characters across two accounts. That's 1,200 days of total playtime and approximately 1,160 days past the point where playing WoW is deemed healthy. There's no exploitation going on, just very efficient leveling that he breaks down in explicit detail. Still, 100 characters? Let that sink in. Fallout 4 Addiction Causes Downward Spiral Unnamed Speaking of being addicted to a game, have you ever played so much Fallout 4 that you lost your job, neglected your friends, and had your wife leave you? A 28-year-old Russian man went through this exact cycle when Bethesda's RPG slash FPS released. Due to not sleeping or eating, his health also went for a loss. So what did he do? He sued Bethesda for not telling him the game could be so addictive, naturally. Married to Nintendo 3DS slash Love Plus character, Sal9000. We're not one to judge when it comes to relationships, but when Sal9000 proposed to and married his Nintendo 3DS with a copy of Love Plus on it, someone should have stepped in. Love Plus features an AI character and it's possible for her to react to the player's words. Sal9000 proposed marriage and here we are. He would go on to take photographs of shopping with his wife, among other things. I mean, they're happy, probably. That should be good enough for the future of society, right? Dark Souls completions with various control schemes. Bearsley. Maybe Benjamin Bearsley Gwynn is just crazy. Maybe he really likes Dark Souls. Either way, he's beaten the game on all sorts of crazy control schemes, from a rock band drum kit and guitar peripheral to Donkey Konga bongos and a microphone. Yes, while well, you've been unable to best any Dark Souls title, he's beaten the original with just his voice. In fact, Bearsley holds the Guinness World Record for most number of alternative control methods for completing Dark Souls. Level 100 in Kingdom Hearts on Starting Island. Erroneous Gaming We've all played RPGs and often revisited stages for a bit of grinding. Even with diminishing returns, it's worth it to keep yourself strong. But what if you stayed at the very beginning and tried to hit max level? Erroneous Gaming attempted such madness in Kingdom Hearts 1, he remained on the first island, whacking away at low-level mobs and eventually got to level 100. How long did this take? Well, 210 hours. It probably doesn't even take that long to 100% the entire game. Do-it-yourself pinball machine controller for the Nintendo Switch, Stamage. Custom controllers are nothing new for the Nintendo Switch, but what about a do-it-yourself custom-created controller to play Pinball FX3? Stamage on YouTube built this madness using a vertically facing screen, a cardboard box from Amazon, a docked switch, and the wiring kit for a flight stick. All of this for just 26 bucks. Granted, a more authentic solution is on the way, and pinball titles need vertical orientation to make the experience complete, but it's still insane seeing this work. Dark Souls Deaths Visualized Drift Item Your own deaths in Dark Souls will no doubt bring shame to your life, I know mine do, but have you ever wondered about everyone else's? Drift Item on Twitter did, and using a custom game client for Dark Souls, he gathered data for about 20,000 bloodstains slash deaths and soapstone messages. This was used to map out the various areas in Lordran where players would have struggled. Suffice to say, the Capra Demon and Taurus Demon are lit up like Christmas. The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past Randomizer Desirect 
David, Desirect, Carol, Love, Super Metroid, Final Fantasy VI, and The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. When he built randomizers, for the first two it only made sense that A Link to the Past would get the same treatment. The basic gist of this 2016 ROM hack is Link receives random items with each new playthrough. It's since grown to having its own tournament, numerous speedrunning attempts, and Carol himself amazed at the sheer support. 9 billion gil in Final Fantasy XIV, Chalice Ice Frost. Playing Final Fantasy XIV and experiencing every bit of content it has to offer can be tough. After all, the game had two separate incarnations from the base game to A Realm Reborn. That being said, it's still incredible to see someone hit the cap for the gill, the in-game currency. While it's actually 999,999,999 gill for a single character, Chalice Ice Frost also achieved the same amount for eight retainers, this resulting in a sum total of 9 billion gill. Someone called Bill Gates. Over level 4300 in Overwatch, Tree Boy Dave. Playing Overwatch can range from randomly fun and chaotic to downright painful, most times the latter. Still, there is some sense of achievement in having a high level, if for nothing else than indicating your patience and time commitment to the game. Tree Boy Dave on Reddit in that case has the patience of a saint since he's crossed level 4300 and has more than 151 hours on each hero. Even going by that ladder stat alone, not including Bridget, that means 3,926 hours on all heroes. Cuphead on black and white CRT TV, LGR. Studio MDHR's Cuphead received tremendous praise for its old-timey aesthetic, sound, and graphics. There's even an option in the game to let you play in black and white, but if you want that authentic, grimy, monochromatic feel, then check out LGR on YouTube. Using an HDMI to RF converter, he managed to run Cuphead on an old CRT TV with black and white colors. It's certainly authentic, even if those scan lines are murder. Playing Tetris with a building, MIT students. You could try playing Tetris on a number of platforms in today's age, or you could play it on the side of a building, hacking and manipulating its lights like a group of MIT students did. It's a remarkable achievement, though it's also equally amazing how they didn't clear a single line. Not one line. So much for that MIT education. The perfect SimCity 3000 city of despair, Vincent Okasla. The perfect utopia in a city builder is often one that's out of your reach. Vincent Okasla had other ideas when he played SimCity 3000. He wanted to build the perfect city that could go on forever, or roughly 50,000 years by his calculations. To that end, he planned everything out beforehand for 18 months on graph paper. He then spent two years actually building this monstrosity. The result is a tightly packed city with dumbed down citizens, an authoritarian government, and endless sustenance suing Sony for misleading Killzone Shadowfall marketing, Douglas Lador. You may not think graphics are that important in video games, but some people take resolutions and frame rate very seriously. In 2014, Douglas Lador sued Sony for false advertising, which claimed that Killzone Shadowfall ran in unscaled 1080p at 60 frames per second in single player and multiplayer. The game actually ran at 960 by 1080 with a high quality temporal upscale according to Digital Foundry, so he might have had some basis for his grievance. Regardless, the case was dismissed with prejudice in 2015 and both parties were ordered to pay their own costs. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.